Hello and welcome here at Gitonyama Lutheran Church. I'm Teacher Elias. Today's uh, I'll be today we'll be together in today's session. And today's session will be very very special and wonderful to you. It have a right message to you, so we can learn together and share with your friends and all societies around you. Okay. Before we start in uh, this session, let's open with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time you have given to us. We ask for your presence to be upon us. We ask for Holy Spirit upon us to be within us so we can enlighten our mind and our heart in the correct way so we can enlighten, we read and help into our daily, daily life through your words which are being promised into our lifetime. Help us to understand clearly and live in with your words which you have delivered to us. Amen. 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 Uh, today's lesson, again, today's lesson says, uh, today's lesson says, mediators are the sons of God. Mediators are the sons of God. Mediators are the sons of God. That is today's lesson. Mediators are the sons of God. And the scripture, scripture's lesson is come from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 9 up to 10. And our memory verse, it's come from the book of Second, Mem Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 18. Let's start, let's begin with our memory verse. A memory verse, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 18. Let me read with the help of the Holy Spirit. Memory verse, it says, chapter 5, verse 18, it says, All this all this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And gave us the ministry of reconciliation. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Okay, let's begin with uh, difficult words. I know there's some uh, difficult words like uh, reconcile, reconciled, reconciled, and another difficult word is reconciliation. I know you need to know. You need to know about reconciled. What's the meaning of reconciled? Reconciled. It means all this is from God who reconciled us. God is when somebody. He have made a mistake. When somebody have made a mistake, and the opponent part is looking for a solution to settle the conflict, there is a reconciliation. Is the, the process to reach it? We, we we can say it's called reconciled. And when the process of two parties they want to get each one clearly. It's called reconciliation. When they are clear, all they sought, all their solution. It's called reconciliation. So reconciliation, it means two parties, they have conflict. Two parties, maybe there is a part A and there is a part B. In order these two people to have clearly understanding each other, there is a, half, there, there is a way to reconcile it so we can make, they can make reconciliation between two parties, part A and part B. Are we getting clearly? Thank you. If you're able to understand me, so reconciliation there is with the point where the two parties settle their, they settle their, their conflict, and all of them they agree to each other and understand. Are we well understood? Thank you so much. Uh, so let's get the aim of this lesson. The aim of this lesson of mediators are the sons of God. And I know you're asking yourself, who are mediators? Uh, yes, we'll be right there. So let's begin with, uh, 
aim. Aim of today says children should know that God love honestly people and also mediators in the lifetime. Mediators in the lifetime. Mediators in the lifetime. Okay. Uh, so let's learn this memory verse which is so wonderful and so simple and nice. It says all this is from God. You can say, you can put your hands, if you have, both of your hands, uh, uh, you, can, you don't have anything you have hold up. You can do like this, all this with your two hands. All this is from God. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ, through Christ, through Christ, through Christ and give us ministry of reconciliation. What does this, what tries this memory verse to, what, what this, what is trying to speak about this memory verse? It's trying to say is about how God show his love towards humanity. Are we together? God, he sacrificed his only son, Jesus Christ, in order to have ministry of reconciliation. Me and you, me and you, the one who watching this video to this time, to, be, to have reconciliation with our God, with our God. At way back, we had bad relationship with God. We remember Adam made a mistake in the East End of Garden. He made a mistake. And that mistake, we, didn't, we lose connection. Mankind lose connection with God. Adam broke it. And when they lost the connection, human keep on committing sin, done things which were evil, much evil in the God's eyes. So God didn't consider there is no reconcile there is no reconcile between human and God. So God, because He had mercy, and He, he God, our God is so merciful and mercy. He, this, he dedicated Himself to to sacrifice His only Son, Jesus Christ. So so He can make reconciliation between me, reconciliation between Him and us, me and you. So we are now, God has restored back the connection between us. So what God did, he sacrificed his only son to restore back the connection between us and God. And the Bible tells us the ministry of Jesus was only to restore back the people who were lost and to welcome everyone to come to the God's kingdom. And through that, God made the reconciliation between us. Jesus Christ made the reconciliation between us and God. So we get the approval point. We get the approval point for me and you to go and speak with God. That's why today you are freely. You are at home place. You are in the car. Maybe you are in the school. Maybe you sit anywhere at any place. You just pray and you call Jesus and you call God at any point. Maybe you're under, you're, maybe you're under something, you're under the bed, you're under the couch, maybe you're even any place. You can pray and God can hear you and answer your prayers because there is a connection has been restored back by God. By God, he, by sacrifice, his only son, who is Jesus Christ. So this memory verse is being dedicated to show that God's love, how God's love was so everlasting. How God's love was so everlasting. Uh, okay, let's go to directly. So you can, this memory verse is so simple and so nice, and you have already understood and I give you a question. What is mediators? Mediators are you can, uh, the, same, uh, the same way as the peaceful makers. Uh, they are fall in the wonder category, but in different, uh, different meaning. Uh, so peaceful makers, peaceful makers are the people 
who are, are the people who are approaching, approaching or preaching in to, to by spread uh, peaceful to spread peaceful things. But mediators are the people who are made connection and restore relationship between one person and another. Those are mediators. So they restore. Uh, restore relationship between one person and another that are mediators okay now let's go directly from uh, today's lesson uh, today's lesson is come from the book of Matthew Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 up to 10 Matthew Matthew chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5 Matthew chapter 5, verse 9 up to 10. Let's read with the help of Holy Spirit. It says, Blessed, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness because of righteousness of their of theirs is the kingdom of heaven so simple and clear all right together uh, i told you today's lesson it will be very very wonderful and very very short so we can understand each other and get everyone clearly and understand uh, what's god trying to teach us okay uh, we, uh, we have already spoke about mediators and we already spoke about peaceful makers i told you peaceful makers uh, it is the process uh, are the people but the mediators are the people who made relationship between restore the relationship between one person and another who have been into conflict and restore it back and there is a good communication between those two people so the bible says blessed are the peaceful makers will be called the children of God blessed are those who bless those who are persecuted because of the righteousness for there is kingdom of heaven directly we are going to ask a few questions and today's lesson is much more discuss disgusting we, we are well, but going to discuss together we're asking who are those children of God? Because it says mediators are the sons of God. Only to restore relationship of two people, it means that you're the sons of God? No. Are you together? Let's get it clearly. Maybe your friends at the school, they, they have conflict, and then you go there, right there, and you restore the restored relationship between the, those two friends who have been have they had arise a conflict, and you made them to settle their their situation, settle the, so they can understand each other, and you say, ah, I'm the sons of I'm the son of God because I've set I I spread peaceful I've settled the conflict between those two people, no. Peaceful, it says, mediators are the sons of God. You can be a sons of you can be a son of God if you accepted you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, you are the sons of you are the son of God. And the only one person who restore relationship between us and God. Is Jesus Christ so Jesus Christ himself Jesus because of God he sacrificed his only son for me and you to have connection with God was Jesus Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ that's why today me and you have connection with God so relationship here can be restored back by Jesus. So if you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and as your Lord, you will have those 
we called it spiritual fruit. I know spiritual fruit, you know, honestly, honestly, humbleness, kindness, those are spiritual fruit. So those, because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your savior, you can have those spiritual fruit. If you have those spiritual fruit, will live, will be living in you, and the Holy Spirit will be have already been intervening into your life. So, if Holy Spirit have been intervening into your life, your character directly will be with a God attitude. God will be with Jesus Christ. Will be fall under Jesus Christ character. So. This, this, those spiritual fruits will be keep on cherishing of you. So if it's keep on your cherishing of you, you'll be, you'll have kindness. You'll be honestly with people. So even your attitude toward other people, you can restore back their relationship. Because you are, I mean, you have already, you are peaceful, you are peaceful makers. The Bible say, blessed are the peaceful makers. He says, bless are, bless are the peaceful makers, for they will be called the children of God. So, you'll be children of God because of your acts. Last lesson it says, because of all your, your act made you to be the rightful, rightful person. Because of your act. How can I know your faith? You of your, how can I know your faith? due to your altitude of act. How do you act? How do you behave? It shows directly what's your faith. What's your point of? Uh, so, what are we learning today? So, we learn that if you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, as your Savior, you are the, ch you are the ch sons of God. And to connect people, to restore back the relationship between two people who have conflict, it means that you keep doing kindness and spread peace. You are peaceful makers. So you'll inherit the kingdom of God because you are act. So your behavior and your altitude are keep on moving kindness, that, those spiritual fruits. You keep on cherishing those spiritual fruits. Are we getting clearly? So those spiritual fruits are keeping on cherishing God's, uh, keeping on spreading God's love because God's love is being restored by, through Jesus Christ. So only one person who restored the connection between us and God was Jesus Christ. He restored the connection of me and you with, from God. So God sacrificed his, his only son for the aim me and you to have connection with God. And in order you to be, keep on being son of God, you have to live honest life and those spiritual fruits which are being written in Galatians chapter 5. You have to go and read for yourself because I've already told you to have a notebook and a pen you write down Galatians chapter 5. You keep on going and read for by yourself. You will see you have been, have been mentioned a lot of uh, spiritual fruit. You keep on training yourself into character so that you can behave it and live it. So you can have, you can start to improve your altitude and behavior to be a peaceful maker and restore the connection between people and made other tell your friends hey how's your connection with god do you know god can restore back your connection with him you're convincing another person another kid you can convince another kid god loves you do you know jesus god sacrificed his only son so me and you we can have clear communication between us and God, he sacrificed is Jesus Christ. The ministry of Jesus Christ was to restore what, restore the connection which had been lost from a lot of years. So what are we learning today? We learn that God loved us until 
he dedicated himself to sacrifice his only son to restore back connection between us and God. So to restore connection between us and God. So we can have, through Jesus Christ, we can have communication with God again. So that's a wonderful learning from that, today's lesson. And another point we're learning from today's lesson, let's keep on doing what God loves. Keep on doing what God loves. Keep on doing what God love by seeing this, the Beatitudes. You can read all of them, this Beatitude from this book of Matthew chapter 5. They are blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. You can keep on reading these Beatitudes and leave it. You'll feel blessed and God, the God of, God of Israelites will be with you and will be with us every day and every moment with us. Amen, amen. Uh, there is a one picture you can see, uh, or only one picture, you'll see Jesus Christ, he'll rest he restored back the relationship. Uh, he restored, there are two people who had conflicts and he restored back their relationship. And later on, later on, later on, Jesus Christ, he, he made reconciliation between the, uh, Jesus Christ, he made reconciliation between two parties and later on those people lived wonderful life and all of them were joyful in Christ and all of them that have been spread, the, all of them were, were peaceful makers. All of them were peaceful makers. Yes, that's the right picture. You can see Jesus Christ, he, restored, he made the reconciliation between those friends who had, uh, had a conflict. And lastly, Jesus reconcile, made the reconciliation of their conflict. And all of them were lively, happy, happy after. Amen. So let's close today's lesson by prayer. Close your eyes so you can pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time you have given to us. We ask for your presence to be upon us. We ask for those beatitudes we should live within it. Help us, Holy Spirit, to be upon us so we can live in a cheerful way and live with, with those spiritual fruit. Can we continue healed in your life? Help us to be a peaceful makers. Help us to restore connection with other pe people and welcome them to your kingdom. And so as we can be ambassadors of your words, to be ambassadors of our behaviors and our attitudes, to call other people to know you, that the ministry of Christ was only to restore the connection between us and you and restore the what have been lost for many years and come to an end and have good clearly communication with our Lord God. We all we pray this in awfulness and merciful and harmonious for your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and I believe Amen. 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 Thank you for being with us from today's from today's Sunday's Sunday service. I welcome everybody at home. Welcome here at Kinyetonya Lutheran Church. See you next time and feel with blessed Amen.